The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office has been sprucing up its newest maritime asset, a 25-foot rescue boat purchased from the Coast Guard. The bill was paid with funds seized from local drug dealers arrested by the OCSO, and work's been underway to get the vessel ready to go for spring break. So we're removing all their wiring that was within it that we couldn't use, and then we're replacing all the uh, electronics such as the VHSs, which are the marine band radios, the we have to add our radios to the sheriff's office, our electronics, our chart plotters, side scan. We're adding side scan to this one also, um, just to get to where we'd like to uh, have it for operational use in our area. The addition of this boat means the OCSO now has three vessels to patrol area waterways. With three vessels, it gives us one that we can operate around the, around the county. Uh, in all the waters. One stays basically just in the Destin area and we'll have one that is actually in Destin waters which is uh, being paid for by the city of Destin. That's why it will stay in or right at the Destin area. The Sheriff's Office uses its marine assets to respond to incidents but also tries to prevent problems. They crack down on boating under the influence and reckless operation but they can also be on hand to help keep tabs on swimmers or snorkelers unfamiliar with the drop-offs and strong currents. DUI is a big thing in that area, so we're trying to reduce the amount of problems we have with BUIs. Uh, also in that area, with the tide changes, we have people that are not experienced in our waters, did not know what the tides are, what, what the dynamics are in the Crab Island area. We have. Two years ago, we had two uh, drownings just because the, pers the people came off of Crab Island. One minute it was at their, their knees, the next minute it was over their head and they didn't know how to uh, swim. And they panicked and, and went down. We lost both of them. This old photo from the 50s shows the Sheriff's Office had a presence on local waters for a long time, but the volume of activity has skyrocketed, especially around Crab Island, the Destin Harbor, and the East Pass. As the Marine Unit puts finishing touches on its newest boat, they say this addition will boost public safety through prevention, education, and rapid response.